Mega Podcast. Good morning, Mega Podlings. Crazy Joe here, and you know, this week it was announced that all the Marvel properties that came from Fox are moving under the control of Mr. Kevin Feige. That includes Deadpool. This has led to a lot of online debate over whether Deadpool uh, should be rated PG-13 or not. A lot of people have been saying things online like, oh, Deadpool won't work if he's not rated R. Deadpool has to be rated R. The character does not work if he's not rated R. That's been stated quite a lot this week online. And I have thoughts about it, and I want to talk about it. I guess the first thing we have to say is we don't know yet what Disney's going to do with Deadpool. We know Kevin Feige's the man in charge. Makes sense. But will he be uh, lowered to a PG-13? The director of Deadpool 2 uh, has come out and said Deadpool doesn't have to be rated R. He could work in a PG-13. That's the director of Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 was a huge hit. we got to assume that he's at least being considered to direct Deadpool 3. Uh, and I'm sorry to say, I can't remember the man's name right now. Uh, he's also the director of Hobbs and Shaw. David, is it David Leach? When I said I can't remember his name, that was not true. I, I remembered his name. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I, I always read it in print. I've never actually heard his name spoken aloud. It might be David Leach? Lich? I don't know. In any event, he's the director of Deadpool 2. He's also the director of Hobbs and Shaw, which is out right now. He directed, co-directed the first John Wick. But he has said that uh, Deadpool could work as a PG-13. That doesn't mean Deadpool 3 will be PG-13. There are several options Disney could take. Number one, they can release Deadpool 3 under the Fox banner, not the Disney banner. Keep it rated R and keep it separate from the MCU. They could also put it in the MCU, but still have it rated R, but tone the character down when he appears in crossover films. For example, if you're making X-Force or some kind of X-Men spinoff or, or an Avengers movie and Deadpool's going to show up, he could be PG-13 there, but then when he's in Deadpool 3, Deadpool 4, his own movie, it could be rated R. Basically, uh, have him kind of cross back and forth depending on the film he's in. That's an option. They could go that way. We don't know. We don't know what they're going to do. I actually think uh, that that's the option that makes the most sense. Um, bring Deadpool into the MCU. We all want to see Deadpool interact with the Avengers, right? Like, I think we all do. So bring him into the MCU. Make R-rated Deadpool movies and PG-13 uh, crossover movies. It's, it's the perfect compromise, Right? It's the perfect compromise. It, look at what uh, Fox did with Wolverine. Wolverine was in all the X-Men movies. They weren't rated R. He was in X-Men 1 and 2. They weren't rated R. Then they made Logan. It was rated R. But not all the movies with Wolverine were rated R. Just the one. The character could appear in both types of films. Rated R or PG-13. Same could be true with Deadpool. But here's the thing I really want to address. There's been a lot of people saying, oh no, Deadpool. Deadpool won't work in PG-13. Though, Once Upon a Deadpool was in glorious PG-13. Uh, and Once Upon a Deadpool, I got both versions. I got both versions of Deadpool 2. But De Once Upon a Deadpool is my favorite version of Deadpool uh, 2. Uh, I think, in fact, some of the bleeping, I think he might be more inappropriate in this PG-13. Because he says things that aren't inappropriate and they beep them out, which makes them sound even more inappropriate than they would have been if he said them uh, flat out. Uh, this is my actually favorite version of Deadpool 2. I think it's hilarious. 
But here's the thing. A lot of people say, well, Deadpool can't work rated R. Can't work. Or it can't work unless he's rated R. Deadpool has to be rated R. Deadpool not rated R is just not Deadpool. You hear that a lot. And I got to say, I've been a comics reader most of my life. I, granted, I don't really read um, comics anymore. Not so much recent comics. But from the 80s through the first decade of the of the uh, 2000s, the, the early knots, as they say, I, pro I probably fell off around 05, 06. That's when I stopped reading comics regularly. So just a little bit over a decade ago. But from the 80s on, I was a, I was a heavy comics reader. And here's the thing about Deadpool. Deadpool, if you look at the source material, is not an R-rated character. He is not an R-rated character, never has been. Well, that's partially false. I'll get back to that. I'll circle around. Deadpool first appeared in the comic book New Mutants. He appeared in the New Mutants in, uh, I think it was 1992, early 90s. Boom. That's where he made his first appearance. Then he was in X-Force, eventually got his own title. And does this symbol look familiar? If not, you may not be an old school comics reader. You may be a more modern day comics reader, or you may not be a comics reader at all. I don't know. But if you grew up in the 70s, 80s, 60s, 50s, you probably know that symbol. It used to be appear on the cover of every comic book, and it says, approved by the Comics Code Authority. This basically meant that the comic book was inoffensive that the comic book could be enjoyed by general audiences. And until very recently, almost every comic Deadpool appeared in throughout the 90s and the early 2000s, that symbol appeared on the cover. <clears throat> now, there was a brief period of time. Marvel Comics had... I don't even think they use it anymore. I think it's defunct. But Marvel Comics had a mature reader's line called Marvel Max. And there was a brief period of time, very brief period of time, where Deadpool appeared under the Marvel Max imprint. That was the only time in the character's entire publishing history that Deadpool was quote-unquote R-rated. Uh, in the general comics, like... New Mutants or X-Force or even his own title throughout the 90s and, and early 2000s, Deadpool wouldn't be dropping F-bombs. He wouldn't be dropping profanity. These books never carried that kind of language. The only books that ever would carry that kind of language were mature reader's titles, and Deadpool was not a mature reader's title. So the question of can Deadpool be PG-13 or does Deadpool have to be rated R... That has been answered already. It's already answered. The answer is Deadpool can absolutely be PG-13 because that's what the character has been for the majority of his history. For the majority of his history, from 1992, his first appearance in New Mutants, until just very recently, this character did not drop F-bombs left and right. This ca character did not say things that were so inappropriate that children under the age of 18 couldn't hear them. That is very new. Now, I like the R-rated Deadpool. It's a lot of fun. Uh, he, he's vastly inappropriate. It's funny. But the question of does he have to be rated R was answered many, many years ago. He does not. He does not. The bulk of his history, he has not been rated R. So it's settled. Deadpool does not have to be rated R. It's not even really so much a matter of opinion because we have the evidence to back it up. And that evidence is the bulk of his publishing history. I mean, they wouldn't have made a movie about this guy if he hadn't been popular. And how did he become popular? Through the comics. And the comics weren't rated R. So that's that. He that's he works. He works not being rated R. It just does. I don't understand how this is a debate. And when I hear people say, no, 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 Deadpool, if he's not rated R, it's not Deadpool. I think to myself, 
you really don't know the history of the character then because he was never rated R until recently. So what would I like to see happen? Uh, I'd like to see them ke uh, keep the Deadpool movies the way they are. But I would like to see them tone him down as well so that he could appear in crossovers. Like I think uh, when they make Avengers 5, I'd like to see Deadpool show up. And I'd like Deadpool to be PG-13 friendly uh, in his Avengers 5 appearance. Or if he shows up in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, you know, tone him down, make him PG-13. But when it's time to shoot Deadpool 3 or shoot Deadpool 4, let's keep it rated R. That, that's, I think, the perfect solution. That's the perfect compromise. That's what I would like to see. Doesn't mean it's what Disney's going to do. But in any event, I'm not sweating it because I know Deadpool does work as a PG-13. I know it because he has his entire publishing history. So whatever Disney decides to do, frankly, I'm okay with it. The bottom line is, is the movie good? I mean, you can make an R-rated movie that's terrible. You can make a PG-13 movie that's great. Quality is what matters. So who cares what Deadpool 3's rate is? I don't. In any event, keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Some people call them bitches, some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.